वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल पाठशाला वेयर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड टुडेस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाइल द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द टीथ टेक प्लेस सो बिफोर द इरप्शन व्हाइल द टीथ इज स्टिल डेवलपमेंट सो व्हाट एवर द डिजीज व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स सो इफ देयर इज एनी एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन द डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट इफ व्हाट इट कैन कॉज सो वी विल बी स्टडीइंग ऑफ कोर्स द रीजन आल्सो एंड द डिजीज एंड इट्स फीचर्स एज़ वेल सो टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स और एनॉमलीज व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द टीथ सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hey guys, welcome to Five in Five series where we cover each topic under five headings in five minutes. So today's topic is the dentin dysplasia. We also call the rootless teeth. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. So today's topic is the dentin dysplasia. Now, what is the dentin dysplasia? So dysplasia, defective dentin formation, as well as because of this defective dentin formation, there is abnormal pulpal morphology. But enamel is normal. in case of dentin dysplasia so dentin dysplasia is an autosomal dominant inherited disorder which is characterized by the defective dentin formation and abnormal pulpal morphology however the enamels remains absolutely normal and we have two types of dentin dysplasia the radicular type the coronal type so because this radicular type is most common and in the radicular type there is no root either it is going to be absolutely rootless no root or short root so that is why this dentin dysplasia we call it the rootless teeth so the tooth will become look something like this so what happens in case of the dentin dysplasia as you can see this is our rootless or the radicular type type 1 kind of dentin dysplasia in this can you see the the our root is going rudiment as as it is going towards the severity so what happens in radicular dentin dysplasia it is the most common radicular dentin is effective there is a defective root formation the crown other hand is absolutely normal there is unstable short root and because of the presence of functionally unstable short root the affected teeth will show mobility and they even may be exfoliate prematurely due to trauma so any trauma after any trauma after any injury it can exfoliate also because root is very small so what happens the root of this teeth is malformed short blunt conical or they can be absolutely no root or the tooth can be completely devoid of the root so the deciduous tooth often exhibit the obliterated pulp chamber that is absolutely diminished pulp chamber there is no pulp chamber in case of deciduous teeth while on the other hand in the permanent teeth they present the pulp obliteration as well but there may be the presence of very small or thin crescent shape pulp that that can be present so the mandibular molar they exhibit a characteristic w shape root in this case so the enamel and the mental dentin is absolutely normal so the mental dentin is a kind of dentin which is just beneath the enamel so this is our mental dentin which is present just beneath the enamel so the enamel and the mental dentin is absolutely normal while on the other hand in case of radicular type the root radicular dentin is involved so in case of radicular type the appearance of fused nodular mass of the radicular dentin is seen and because of this mass there is an appearance of the defective dentinal tissue there is a appearance which is known as the lava flowing around the boulders so you can see it looks like the lava is flowing around the boulders this is an histological appearance or the series of sand dunes as you can see this here so it looks like that as uh, if you can see in case of a light microscope it looks like that lava is flowing so our uh, we can say the there is a series of sand dunes so this is the appearance as you can see in this diagram there is a appearance of histological appearance and the dentinal tubules this appearance is because the dentinal tubules are actually uh, arranged in a typical world appearance so a wall is, is there like walls are there right so like this the dentin is uh, the dentinal tubules are 
arranged in such a fashion as you can see the world appearance coming to the type 2 which is the coronal now in the coronal the coronal dentin is involved so there is a defective coronal dentin so the permanent teeth are normal in color while the deciduous teeth will show amber gray color appearance amber gray color there is obliteration of pulp chamber as well as the root canals which resemble the dentinogenesis imperfecta we have covered in the 4 10 and 10 series and there is because the pulpal obliteration is there then you will ask me what is the difference between those two so the difference is that there is no cervical constriction in case of dentinal dysplasia while on the other hand it was present in the case of dentinogenesis imperfecta so this typical appearance wherein there is a pulpal obliteration right so this kind of permanent teeth which shows the large pulp chamber radiographically it gives a thistle tube appearance and histologically there is abnormal globular or interglobular dentine which is present and radiographically if you look at the, uh, the pulp chamber because it is large so it will look like this. So the coronally there is going to be large pulp chambers and this will give a thistle tube appearance. So the histological feature is the lava flowing around the boulders which is a typical characteristic feature of type 1 radicular dentin dysplasia and radiographically the typical feature is thistle tube appearance which is a radiographical feature for type 2 that is the coronal dentinal dysplasia. So I hope that you guys are clear with the dentin dysplasia and if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and in the description box below now there is a chance to support me on Paytm as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes for you so till then keep reading keep Keep learning, take care, stay motivated. I'll see you soon guys in the next video.